We also watched AEW Dynamite, July 22nd, 2020. It's an open challenge for the TNT Championship to open the show. Cody doesn't even get an entrance this week. He's just in the ring. And he is intro introduced, but then who should interrupt the introduction but Eddie fucking Kingston. And Eddie comes out to speak his mind. And oh, he had a lot to say. Calls Arn a used to be legend, says, Cody, you grew up around legends. I grew up around alcoholics. I grew up around junkies. I had to fight, had, I had to fight to survive. You couldn't last a day in my shoes. So don't talk to me about grinding. Every person you have faced for this TNT title has been a child. I am a grown ass man and I will put you in the ground and smile. Tony Khan paid me to show up and now he's going to pay me to kick your ass and take your championship. I told him I want a no DQ match. He said, that's fine, but Cody has to accept. So what's it going to be, Cody? Are you an egg-sucking dog or an egg-sucking bitch? Kingston was on fire here. Just on fire. So Cody accepts, and oh my god, what an awesome match. There was hardly any spots in this match. They had like one for the heat and one or two the comeback and a finish, but they just got in there and they fought each other. And they're chopping the piss out of each other. They're whipping each other with the weight belt and it's no DQ. And... Kingston takes over, and here, here's where I thought to myself, this is the difference between methodical and slow. Kingston wasn't doing a million moves an hour, and he didn't have complicated, elaborate 27-step spots. He would just hit him and stomp him and choke him, take a, breath, catch, take a break, catch his breath, then go back to hitting and stomping him and choking him again. It was fantastic. So he can't put Cody away. Cody makes a brief comeback, and he's able to cut him off. This is okay, enough of this bullshit. And he goes under the ring, and he gets the thumbtacks. Pours them out all over the ring. There's a, several teases, actually, of going into this pile of tacks. And then finally, Eddie grabs Cody, lifts him up, and he power bombs this son of a son of a plumber into these tacks. They're all over Cody's boots, all over his back, all over his arms. There's tacks everywhere. And there's, there's a close-up in HD, and there were puncture wounds all over Cody Rhodes' back. But then Cody makes a comeback. They start taking bumps. By this point, there's just tacks all over the ring. Tacks will stay in one spot. When the ring bounces, they go everywhere. So there's, there's fighting and pile of tacks all over the ring. Cody is going for a figure four. Eddie's trying to fight it off. They have an epic slap fight over this figure four. Finally, Cody wins the slap fight. He gets the hold on. Eddie must submit. Like, except for the Dustin, Cody versus Dustin match at, uh, uh, was it double or nothing? Whichever one that was. This was like my favorite Cody Rhodes match ever. This is just fantastic. This match was awesome. You even talk about the most important part. So first off, like very early in the match, Eddie starts selling his knee. And there's no spot. He starts selling his knee. Yeah. And he did such a great fucking job selling his knee that I was sure that he was fucked. Oh, man, he's finally getting his big shot. After all these years... Fucks up his knee two minutes into the match. Yes. And he's selling and he's selling. But in the end, it was to set up the figure four leg lock in the tax. Whole point of selling his leg. And in the promo, he made it very clear that you talk about grinding and living this rough life, all that stuff. It's easy to say when you grew up around used to be legends like Arn Anderson. I grew up around alcoholics, junkies. I had to survive. I had to grind. You couldn't last a day in my shoes. That was the perfect fucking setup for Cody being the one that got power bombed into the tax. That's true. This guy that allegedly had such a soft, cush life. He's the guy that fucking gets power bomb into these tacks, but he pops up and he fights back, and he's the one that beats the shit out of Eddie Kingston and finally forces him to give up in the middle of a pile of thumbtacks. Yes. This goddamn match, everything about it the promo, the work, when Eddie fucking Kingston hurt his leg. He didn't run and jump and flip and do a bunch of fucking shit because he had a bad fucking leg and he could barely do anything. And it played into the match, but he could still be a brawler. He could still beat the shit out of this guy. I love this match. 
I can't even tell you how much I love this match. I love the promo. I love the match. I love the finish. I love the promo that Eddie cut afterwards. As of last night, he had not been signed yet. I find that impossible to believe. It's true. He was the best guy on this show. I I presume he's going to be signed. But fuck. Sign Eddie Kingston already. Jesus God Almighty. This is awesome. So yeah, giant flaming thumbs up for this. I, I, I can't say enough good things about it.